Hello and welcome back to Animal Wonders. I'm Jessie and this is Paya the baby beaver. She's about four months old right now, but she came to us when she was only three to four weeks old. She went through some really challenging health issues when she was little, but we were able to help her get healthy and strong. But once she was healthy, she needed a place to live out the rest of her life and we were eager to help her. are very social by nature, and they spend two years with their immediate family before heading out to find a mate, building a home together, and starting a new family. So we wanted to find Paya a companion who would fulfill that social need. There were two options. One, Paya could be sent to another animal facility to join another beaver who was young and needed a companion. And two, we could try to introduce her to our four-year-old beaver, Huckleberry. Now, Huckleberry is a non-releasable beaver who came to us when he was four weeks old and had a brain injury that left him with ataxia and impaired vision in his right eye. His medical needs when he was younger made it challenging to build him a permanent habitat and find a companion that would be compatible. Getting Paya into a rehabilitation center for release into the wild was unsuccessful, and we were faced with the challenge of securing her future under the care of humans. Beavers are a high commitment for any animal facility due to their extensive chewing needs and semi-aquatic nature. So finding another animal facility for her to go to was proving difficult. So while we continued pursuing option one of finding another facility to take her, we started on option two, trying to introduce Huckleberry to Paya. We needed to go slowly since Huckleberry hadn't seen another beaver since he was only a few weeks old. So we started with giving Huckleberry a few sticks that smelled like Paya so he could get used to the idea of another beaver around. Then we put her smell on us so he could associate a familiar person with the new beaver smell. He was interested in her smell, but quickly moved on. Then we wanted to have them see each other, but keep Paya protected in case Huckleberry reacted to her as a threat. In the wild, beavers are very suspicious of other beavers that aren't part of their family. They will chase away and even attack intruders. So we needed to be careful with these next steps. We set Paya up in a mobile wire playpen and staged the meeting on neutral ground outside. When Paya saw Huckleberry, she immediately wanted to be closer. Her behavior showed that she was definitely in need of beaver companionship. Huckleberry's reaction, though, was a bit concerning. He was scared of her and tried to avoid getting closer. I don't think it helped that Paya was vocalizing loudly and reaching out between the bars to get closer. I gave Huckleberry some treats for staying close and not becoming aggressive, and then ended the session and got Huckleberry back home. The next sessions went similar to the first, but Huckleberry was a bit less cautious about getting close to Paya, and instead was more concerned about other noises he could hear, and his only focus was getting back to the safety of his home. Since Huckleberry wasn't showing any signs of aggression toward Paya, we moved on to the next step, and that was having Paya in the mobile wire playpen in Huckleberry's outdoor yard. She reacted the same way each time she saw him, reaching between the bars and begging to get closer. Huckleberry was cautious, but tolerated her presence. I was hopeful it was going to work. We spent several more afternoons with this setup, and eventually Pyre relaxed a bit and started eating instead of just trying to get closer to Huckleberry. And Huckleberry was content to sit near Paya and munch on branches and leaves. It was such a relief to see them being so comfortable together, and I was really excited to get Paya in with Huckleberry so they could socialize together. Then, the unexpected happened. Huckleberry had gone into his indoor area to drag a branch into his pool of water, and when he came back into the yard, he immediately became territorial and charged at Paya. He wasn't able to hurt her because the wire was still separating them, but she was knocked back and it startled everyone. I immediately went to remove Paya from the space and Huckleberry's response was to become even more territorial. It was a tough and sad turn of events. So I stopped the introduction meetings for 10 days to let Huckleberry really settle down and hopefully reset. During this time, we were continuing to look for another facility to take in Paya, but we're still coming up empty handed we decided to give Huckleberry another chance. 
This time, we once again move to neutral ground, inside our food prep room. Huckleberry wouldn't feel territorial here since he's only been in here once a few years ago. Pia was more comfortable in the room since we had done many feedings in here when she was recovering from being sick. We decided that the barrier Pia was behind might be making her stress out, which in turn caused Huckleberry to react negatively. So with Taylor and I both present to manage the beavers, we let Huckleberry out of his crate to meet Pia. Things went really well at first. They calmly smelled each other and then moved away, both being cautious but not aggressive. After 15 minutes of exploring the room, Huckleberry turned his attention to Pia and once again displayed aggressive behavior toward her. Pia was unhurt, but we removed her immediately and sadly confirmed that Pia would not be able to live with Huckleberry. When you're working with wild animals in captivity, there are so many variables that go into their care. Sometimes, even when you know it would be in the animal's best interest, the animal won't always cooperate. It would have been great for Huckleberry to have a companion, and for Pia as well. Unfortunately, he's not accepting of this young beaver joining his family. It's most likely because Huckleberry is an unsocialized four-year-old and is now set in his ways. It could also be because of the age difference, though generally a young beaver is seen as less of a threat than an adult. Or it could just be that Huckleberry doesn't like Pia specifically, and another beaver might be more to his liking. We can't tell him who to like and who not to like. He's his own individual self. So we'll keep working on option one to get Pia into a suitable home so she can live comfortably. I'm really looking forward to finding her a compatible companion who will happily accept her social personality. Until then, we'll continue to house Pia in her temporary home and give her all the attention that we can. Even though our humanness isn't her preference, she'd much rather have a beaver companion. And now Paya has just finished off her treats for the day and needs to head on home. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you would like to go on more animal adventures, be sure to subscribe to Animal Wonders Montana, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.